Hello and greetings from Iceland. I'm starting this update with new footage from the Blue Lagoon and Grindavík. And uh, although seismic activity has been rising, we might have to wait for a few more days or even a week or longer for the next eruption to take place. And that is nothing new. We have seen this before. Everything seems to be about to burst open, only to keep us on our toes. So it seems as the experts uh, timed this one a bit too early, but uh, we will know more about that soon. And uh, this video, it was shot two days ago when I came back from my Highland tour. I drove uh, over Iceland, coast to coast, and then I did this uh, detour to the Reykjanes Peninsula. But this time it was not to wait for the next eruption. I think we have to wait for a while longer, and it is terrible for my workflow to... Uh, be hanging around there without my editing computer. So I was mainly there to film the so-called uh, before shots that uh, are a part of my documentation work. Like the last clips uh, I shot, they were filmed uh, just before this uh, tongue of lava stopped and a friend of mine filmed uh, this battle a few days later when the lava came flowing over the wall. And that wall, it looks like this now. We see how it's uh, higher. But that is not going to be enough for the next eruption. We have a new water cooling system ready now. It is very efficient and it has to be if it's going to do something for us. It can pump 13 tons per minute of water from the blue lagoon over the lava that might come down there. It is not the ultimate solution, but when the lava cools it might pile up and make some additional protection walls or help us to steer the lava along the lava wall. But like I said, this is not the ultimate solution. This is just a way to buy us time. We know it from past eruptions that this uh, doesn't take long. This will be a battle that will last for 6 to 12 hours after the eruption starts. And if the eruption leaves us with a lava pond or ponds up there near the craters, like during the last eruption, there is always the risk that we might get hit again, like in July, or after the main eruption is over. And uh, the Blue Lagoon, it remains open, as usual. It's hard to see the entrance now, due to those new walls that they have been building there. And as soon as the earthquakes prior to the eruption start, it will be closed and uh, evacuated. And the power plant is, as always, a part of the warning system, since uh, at least one of the geothermal boreholes sends out uh, signals shortly before the fire comes up. And this is how the staff there has been learning how Mother Nature behaves before eruptions. And since I happened to be there during this uh, beautiful summer evening, I did some filming in town as well. And I have to admit that while I was uh, holding the remote, watching this, documenting the next uh, big event, it occurred to me that this was my last chance to see the town. The lava could flow over it. Or like I've been saying before, this is in a way like watching a slow motion disaster movie. And the Met Office was for a while predicting the eruption to come up close to town. But they seem to be backing out with that, saying that uh, this could come up anywhere on the ancient crater row that has been uh, opening up from time to time. So all we can do is to remain hopeful until this chapter comes to an end. And there are experts who have been saying that uh, it could be the case, but uh, they have, however, remained uh, silent recently. But they did get it right that the magma inflow has not been as constant as it used to be. There is still this theory out there that this might be the last eruption before the activity moves to other parts of the peninsula. And there is no lack of odd signs from the other systems, that is for sure. This is about the complete peninsula, and has always been. And due to the tension that the Met Office has been building up, the media is all over this. If the weather will look good in the next days, I might only stop here in the north for three or four days and do the long way to the Reykjanes Peninsula again and use the time to film because uh, the summer colors won't be here for so much longer, perhaps uh, two weeks. The Icelandic summer is not long, 
But uh, as for the next eruption, I'm more worried about the power plant and the Blue Lagoon than the town. And it is just extremely hard to protect the infrastructure there. Even harder than to protect the town. It's uh, literally just sitting in a hole or the worst possible location that we can find around there. So things are still hectic. The tension is rising every day. And until I see a reason to take off fast to the south again, I will be working on videos that have been on hold and the footage from the highlands. And uh, I managed to find uh, some sunny spots between the clouds and came back with lots of footage for important uh, projects. But my next video will most likely be about my channel and my channel tasks. It's quite long, meaning that I need some peace around me for one or two days. And that has been very hard lately. But uh, I want to get it out because uh, it explains a lot about the things I've been doing. But what I can say now is that uh, I was filming a lot on Iceland's largest caldera, or what is believed to be the biggest one. Depends on what uh, articles or books uh, I read about it. But it's only partially covered with uh, ice, and it is not a popular tourist destination. Meaning that I won't be showing you footage that has already been uh, all over the place. And it is also the place where I lost my drone and uh, did some hiking. And uh, he is back with a story in the form of footage that uh, he shot uh, totally on his own without any help from me. And I really need some peace to work on this footage from there. So despite the problems I've been having with the weather, the short summer and uh, not been able to film the places I wanted to film, I have been using the good days extremely well. And in most cases coming back with uh, the results I wanted and uh, every now and then getting something uh, a bit better than I hoped for meaning that uh, it's plenty to come. But I'm still dealing with the fact that uh, two days of shooting, it can mean uh, two weeks of processing. And uh, if I got lucky, make all the bits and pieces in two stories. But you will uh, know more about that soon, when I get the chance to explain my work and uh, how I see the channel uh, develop into the future. So if my next video won't be about uh, the eruption, Starting, it will for sure be about uh, my channel and that video will be stuffed with uh, footage that you haven't seen before. And uh, with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.